please, friends, don't become offended at the manifestations of God. Because it does, it does challenge a few people. Um, so, hallelujah. Deliverance brings freedom. And I think that's what the, the most important part of it is. Is that you may go through a lot with a person, but to see them come back again and give their testimony and just know that you know their lives have been changed and now got a job where they couldn't have a job before and uh, this demon was preventing them and now the marriage is restored because a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife uh, you know has has gone out and and all these familiar spirits have left and now the freedom has, has come to you know people it's just joy unspeakable um, you know you're going to have to endure things in the deliverance ministry but hallelujah um, it's really wonderful to see people being saved and delivered and healed um, hallelujah when the demon goes out your healing comes that's it that was the thing that was holding you back and you thought you could find a natural method and yet the demon goes out there it is that's the pure anointed word of God. Okay, so how do you know if a demon is present? Well, there are many ways to see this. Okay, as I'm looking now, I'm seeing this. Okay, so I'm just going to look down and tell you. Okay, all right. This is how we see it. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, some people looking angry, and some people like even sit in the congregation, <laughs> you know. And um, some really want to dig me one. <laughs> no eye contact. Time for deliverance. Oh, I just need the toilet. I'm just going out, and um, oh, I've got to go to my uh, appointment at twelve. I'll come next week. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, some people even like sleeping. Sleeping is a big one too, as I sit there. <laughs> you know? uh, because when the word of God is being preached, it's going to it's going to stir things, you know, in the midst of the congregation. And uh, things begin to happen. And um, uh, I, I know for, for a few there there are weird facial expressions. I don't even know how to do it, but when I look, I can see these weird facial expressions where <laughs> people look at me like I've stepped off of a spaceship. <laughs> and, and then I know, okay, you know, I remember the one week I said, oh, we're in for it this week, you know, and uh, I know exactly what, what is about to, to happen at some uh, services. Uh, I think just because the Lord wants to just show us and um, so, <laughs> um, but, but now for the people experiencing these problems, you, you know, they could hear voices, you know, some people hear voices and some have movement in their stomach, uh, like a snake in their stomach, and, um, you know, abnormal urges to do things that they wouldn't normally do, addictions and pornography and, Vampire movies. I don't know how a Christian can watch vampire movies. I mean, you're just going to be overpowered. Uh, people feel that they can live, you know, call themselves a Christian and yet be involved in all of these crazy things, and which only bring in anger and hatred. Uh, you know, the demonic will just jump into that. Um, some people, are, are, even adults, uh, have a problem with bedwetting. Um, you'll be amazed what, what we come across. And, um, okay, um, it, it really is amazing, but uh, never discourage anyone. People are doing strange things and they have had, a, you know, abnormal things happen to them, friends. Your job is to get them delivered and to lead them in the way of the Lord. These are demons causing these things. And often the person can do nothing about it. I know one person, you know, just every morning they wake up and they did wake up 
and until they got delivered of that demon, then their marriage was restored and they had stopped this bed waiting thing. So the struggle is real out there, friends. And if you know what causes it, oh, you know, so don't ever, you know, if it's you or whatever the case may be, friends, uh, don't ever think badly of yourself. Just thank God that he is going to deliver you today.